Hello, hello. Let's take a look at this fraction review. Okay. Hatchy went around. That's not Hatchy. Picking up nails from the ground so no one would step on him. That's thoughtful of that guy. From Batty's cave, he collected one third pound of nails. Then he collected three fourths of a pound of rusted nails from Little Toasty's house. That's Little Toasty. He's a toaster. He then collected the exact same amount at Sloth's house. How many pounds of nails did Hatchy collect in all? Draw a diagram to support your answer. Okay, well let's see. Hatchy went around, he got from Batty's cave, he got one third pound of nails, and then from somewhere else he got Little Toasty's house, he got three fourths of a pound. So how much did he get in all? We'll have to add those up. So the, the tricky part of this question is that we only see two numbers. But really, did he only go to two places? So let's start drawing a picture because that's exactly, draw a diagram, that's exactly what's going to help us with this problem. So first off, he went to Batty's cave. And how much did he find at Batty's cave? He found one-third pound of nails. Then he collected three quarters of a pound, or three fourths, from Lil Toasty's house, this guy. Three fourths of a pound. So that's Lil Toasty's. We're all done, right? No, let's see. Then he collected the exact same amount at Sloth's house. So he also went to Sloth's house who looks like a sloth, and he must have found there at sloths the exact same amount, three-fourths of a pound. So how much did he find all together? There's my diagram, and I have to see, I, oh, I have to add up three numbers. Let's see, I need to have them add up together. I can't just add across, that's not how that works. They all have to speak the same language. Thirds doesn't speak fourths, fourths doesn't speak thirds. I have to find a language that they both can speak. So in class, we've definitely listed out the multiples of the number. We start counting by three, three, six, nine, 12, 15. Let me start counting by fours as well. Four, eight, 12, oh. Twelfths is the language that they're both going to have to end up speaking. So I'm going to go ahead and put my denominator 12 beneath all three numbers. Then 4 times what equals 12? 4 times 3. I'm writing all over the guy. I said times 3. Maybe we can't see it, so I'll put it over here. So 3 times 4 is 12. If I multiply 4 times 3 like I just did and got 12, I have to do the same thing at the top. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 twelfths is the equivalent fraction for 3 fourths. Okay? This is going to be the same thing. I could just copy my answer 9 twelfths, or I could put times 3 here. 3 times 4 is 12, and 3 times 3 is 9. So we have 9 twelfths plus 9 twelfths, that'll be 18 twelfths. And then we have the 1 third pound. What times 3 equals 12? Well, 4 times 3 equals 12. So 4 times 3 is 12, and 4 times 1 is 4. So 9 plus 9 is 18. 18 plus 4 is 22. So we end up with 22 twelfths. The problem doesn't tell us to change the language on this. The question asks, how many pounds of nails did he collect in all? Hatch, we're going to put it two different ways. Hatchy collected 22 twelfths of a pound of nails in all. Now, can I put it a different way? This is what we call an improper fraction. Uh, how could I change it into a mixed number? 12 goes into 22, not 2 times, because 2 times 12 would be 24. So I can also just change it into the whole number, Hatchy collected one, because 12 goes into 22 one time, 
how much is left over? 10. 1 and 10 twelfths pounds of nails. Same answer, just expressed differently. One's a mixed number, 1 and 10 twelfths. One is a improper fraction. Either one can work. Now, let's move on. After, because here, B has to use A. After using some of the nails he collected to build a clubhouse, Hatchie found that he only had one-sixth of a pound of nails left. So he had a bunch of nails, then he used one, he used some, and then he had one-sixth of a pound of nails left. How many pounds did Hatchie use for making his new club house? Let's fix that. Support your answer using a diagram, numbers, and words. So, after using some of the nails he collected to build a clubhouse, Hatchie found... So how many nails did he collect? Well, we know he collected 22 twelfths. That's his starting amount. He took some stuff away, put a box, put a question mark, and he ends up with one-sixth of a pound of nails. Problem here is they're not speaking the same language. How can I make them speak the same language? Well, one of the nice languages that six can be forced to speak is 12. So let's change that one to twelfths. Six times what equals twelve? Six times two. Okay, so twenty-two twelfths minus something, when we're older we'll call it x, equals two twelfths. Twenty-two twelfths minus something equals two twelfths. Well, twenty-two minus two would be twenty. So we could just also, we could keep the box, we could write 22 twelfths minus 2 twelfths equals 20 twelfths. Or we could figure it out just like I did out loud. 22 minus something equals 2. 22 minus something. What it must it be minus? It must be minus 20 twelfths. Okay. How many pounds did Hatchie use for making his new clubhouse? Hatchie used... 20 twelfths pound of nails. Let's put that in parentheses, though. 12 goes into 20 one time. How much is left over? 8. Now, here's the deal. My phone starts running out of space. Uh, I think here's where I'm at. Hatchie used 20 and 12... 20 twelfths pound of nails, which 12 goes into 20 one time. 20 minus 12 is 8, so it leaves remainder 8 twelfths. One, eight, 1 and 8 twelfths pounds nails. Same answer. Had she used 20 twelfths pound of nails on his new what? Clubhouse. Okay, that's done. Moving right along. With the remaining one six pound of nails from that last problem, Hatchie decided to build a bird feeder and a bird house. Here's the bird house. The bird feeder would take one twelfth pound of nails to complete, and the bird house would require one twenty fourth pound of nails. Does Hatchie have enough nails to build both projects? Support your answer using a diagram, numbers, and words. So let's see. He has one sixth pound nails left. Does that one sixth equal? Does he have enough? Is it one? So one twelfth pound of nails to for the bird feeder. I'm just going to label bird feeder. The house requires one twenty fourth. pound of nails okay I wouldn't really know are these big enough or not I have to figure it out okay so when we take that away does he still have enough left or does this take more than one sixth does he have enough nails to build both projects so how much is he starting with he's starting with one sixth pound problem here is I'm trying to take these away to see if he has enough left they don't speak the same language so I need to get them to speak the same language so one sixth minus one twelfth minus 
one twenty fourth. Now it's just the the common denominator should be screaming out at us, but I might need to go through and figure it out. So I'd pick my smallest number. I'd start counting by sixes. I'd say six, 12. Oh, that's one of the other numbers. 18. It's not going to be 18. 24. Oh, okay. That goes into 24. Six goes into 24. In fact, 12 goes into 24. But if we didn't know, I'd count by 12s. 12, 24. Oh, I definitely reached, let me count by 24, it's 24. I reached 24. So 20 fourths is what I'm going to make all of them speak. This one already speaks 20 fourths. That's times 1. 1 times 1, 20 fourth is 1, 20 fourth. It's, it stays the same. It already speaks the right language. 12 times what equals 24? 12 times 2. So 1 twelfth is the same as 2 20 fourths. And here's the number we're starting with, 6. 6 times what equals 24? 6 times 4. So 4 times 1 is... So we start with 4 24 minus 2 24 So 4 minus 2 is 2 24 left. Now we come along and we make whatever this is, and I really should label that was a bird feeder, so here's the bird house. Now I'm making the bird house. It requires 1 24 of the nails. 2 24 minus 1 24 equals 1 24. That's my remainder of how much is left over of nails. I have one, after I build both of these things, I would have 1 24th pounds of nails left. So the question though, is that what the question's asking? Does Hatchie have enough nails to build both projects? Yes, Hatchie can build both the birdhouse and bird feeder and he would still have one twenty fourth pounds of nails left okay so all these problems require reading, thinking, and making the fractions speak the same language. Thank you. Do well.